do the Chinese people tackle water shortage and imbalance? By taking water from the south to the thirsty north. This water diversion project is the largest of its kind in the world. I'm now in the city of Nanyang, where the water starts to flow north through the middle route. Come with me, and I will answer your questions about this mega water project. What is South to North Water Diversion Project? Since ancient times, China has experienced a shortage of water in the north and an abundance in the south. The South to North Water Diversion Project transfers water from the Yangtze River in southern China to the dry north through eastern, middle and western routes. The eastern route takes water from East China's Jiangsu province to regions including Tianjin and Shandong. The middle route takes water from Danjiangko Reservoir in the middle reaches of the Yangtze River to feed the arid northern regions including Beijing, Tianjin, Henan and Hebei. The western route is now in the pre-construction stage. Why do you describe it as gigantic? By March 2021, the project had transferred over 40 billion cubic meters of water to China's northern areas directly benefiting more than 140 million people and over 40 cities. The middle route runs for over 1,400 kilometers and can supply 9.5 billion cubic meters of water per year to cities including Beijing. How does it take water to 1,400 kilometers away? Water in this project's middle route flows with the help of canals, pipelines and tunnels to northern China. The water is made to flow from a height so that it gains momentum and runs north. How is the water quality? At the source area, Sichuan County, 380 polluting companies have been shut down and trees have been planted on both sides of the canal in Henan. Staff regularly check the water quality along the route. In addition, there are 13 automatic water quality monitoring stations along the middle route. Underwater robots are widely used for monitoring aquatic substances and sediment levels and checking water gates. What changes does it bring? Water from the south meets household, industrial and agricultural demand. It has helped moisten the arid north and also helped ecological restoration of rivers and lakes with over 5.2 billion cubic meters of water supplied. People along the routes now have access to safe and clean water and drying rivers welcome new waves. It has greatly helped optimize water resources, boost sustainable economic and social development and improve people's livelihoods.